Welcome back to Metroid Prime. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Excellent. We're gonna get something nice today. I like I mean, nice things. I mean, we get a lot. We get a lot of nice stuff in this series, you know. Are we finally gonna treat ourselves? Because uh, we deserve it, Queen. Y you know, yeah, no, we're definitely gonna treat ourselves. We're getting something that is very, very, very powerful and yes. very, very nice. Yes. It's basically uh, going to be signaling the end of, of the game, kind of. Oh, wow. Saying that means like, all right, let's r let's wrap things up. You got what you need to get to where you need to go, so go get what you need to get to where you need to go and go do it, okay? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go back through the, rec the uh, wrecked for gate again, because we got the grapple beam to swing Ooh. across here if need be. Which we do need be. Yeah. Scary every time. I hate the grapple beams. Every, every time I hate it. Just slay, UDJ. Slay, Queen Slay. But I got it. And it, it, it ain't no worry. I got a grapple on it. I got a handle on it. Mm. I mean, you were kind of panicking there for a second. I didn't think you had quite It's part the of the handle. process. Okay, cool. It's part of it. It's how I get my mojo flowing. You know, for if you were showing this to somebody who had never played Metroid Prime, just call it a game mechanic. You know, you know that's just part of the game. Just, it's part of the game to, to, to get uh, if, nervous. If you miss it three times, believe it or not, developers thought of that. They thought of it, and they did nothing. Mm-hmm. So, uh, good on me for being better than the developer. Am I right or am I right? You can mess up any number of times you want, you can still try again. Mm -hmm. See, that's good game design. Because if I were to just fail once and then the game would be over, <laughs> bad design. Imagine Metro with a live system. No. Ugh. I don't- no. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. That's- that's- that's, that's nasty. That that's making people sad everywhere. I'm, I'm 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 sorry, folks. What if every single energy in the energy tank was an extra life? So every time you get hit for like 30 damage, that's like 30 extra lives you just lost. Well, then it's easy to lose lives and it's easy to gain lives. Uh, well, I, I guess that's a good way to nerf the difficulty of Metroid games? Question that, mark. That is interesting, though. Interesting, interesting idea for a mechanic. You uh. You lose lives easily, you gain lives easily, but you upgrade how many lives you can hold at one time. Oh, that's fun. See, I only know about the, uh, the Prinny game on PSP that got re-released for Switch, where you have a hundred Prinnies, and if you run out before the end of the game, you lose. <laughs> I've seen- I've, I've played a few Flash games that have that kind of mechanic. You start with a hundred lives, you waste them, you're done. Which actually sounds interesting, because I don't think that printy game was easy, either. Oh, no. shit. Oh, okay. It's okay. He just wanted to wave. See, uh... Ice Beam works well on these tentacles because they freeze, so they don't hurt anymore. They're still kind of in your way. But then when they unfree... Ah! Ah! ah again, I got hit by the one when he came back! Fuck. Oh my god, did you just zip? No. Did I just see a Metroid Prime zip? No, I, 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 I slipped. What an amazing Let's Player here for Metroid Prime. See, a slip is much less impressive than a zip. Where is this guy's G Fuel sponsorship? Come on, video gamers. In the trash, where it should be. Mmm, G Fuel. Although, if you were, like, if they made UDJ and the Niskel G Fuel energy drinks, what would, what would our flavors be? Well, the thing is, I would hope I would be in that meeting. Just so I can taste myself and see if I'm a good energy drink. Will we go for something weird and off color like we are? Or something a bit more uh, rational? And Honestly, and, uh, give me a blueberry drink mixed with a little bit of grape flavoring. You've got a winner for me. Nisco blueberry grape. So that takes care of the blue. I gotta go for red then. Something red for me. Hmm. I like apple, but I don't know if it'd be good as an energy drink. Maybe, uh, you a fan of strawberry banana? Probably not for an energy drink, yeah. though, but no. I, although those Rockstar whips are pretty good, you know, like whipped kind of strawberry, so. Hmm. Strawberry shortcake energy drink. Ooh. That's what's gonna be. Strawberry shortcake? And mine's just. Ultra Director Shortcake. That was my name in high school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Now, when people can't get your name right, they're just gonna call you Shortcake from now on. <laughs> Look, I've already been called an element and a coin. 
I'm the nickel. <laughs> Everybody will get my name right now if I have an energy drink named after me. Ooh, I wonder what kind of elements they added. It's like that paint they use for counterfeit coins. All right, so the important thing we need is in Magmore, behind that white door. <laughs> We're going back to Magmore. We got, yeah, but, but, but there's <laughs> there, there's something here, though. There's an important thing here. Yeah, okay, okay. It's in the geothermal core. No, I believe geothermal you. Geothermal core. No, I totally that believe That sounds you. important, doesn't uh -huh. it? A little geothermal bit. Geothermal core. No, I believe you. It's like geo means earth, thermal means hot, core means... Core. Core. So, hot earth core. What's in the core of that hot earth? Something good. Hopefully an ice beam extension. Ice beam extension? Why would an ice beam extension be in Magmore? It would melt. Because it would be funny. Where is your imagination? You know what else is funny? What? I'm, I'm asking, do you know anything that's oh, funny? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Alter Director Shortcake is pretty funny. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Oh, God, I found the Phazon. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah, you jumping directly into Phazon is kind of funny. Yeah, that hurts a lot, if you can't tell. Did you lose a whole E-Tank for that? Uh, just about. Ow. Ow. You're not- you're not meant to live in Phazon for long. It's not like lava where you can, like, oh, brush it off. This is- this is <laughs> supposed to be, you know, ouchy- ouchy death hurts sauce. Samus is so badass, she could just, like, kinda- kinda brush off magma and so, ow. Get off. And she's so badass, she gets- she, she dips her toe in Phazon, she goes, oh, that- that, that doesn't feel too good. Nah, that's- ow. That, that kinda sucks, She doesn't, actually. like, immediately melt. Her, her skin doesn't fall off of her flesh. She's so badass, she uses Magmore Caverns as her own personal spa and hot tub. This is where I'm feeling really self-conscious about the platforming now, so just gotta keep keep, keep it together. It's all good. Huh. There is literally huh. one person watching this right now. Did you Do see not falter. Did you see it? I think I did. Did you see something? Yeah, right there. No, that's not the something. There's something else there. Ah, uh, he's going for it. Okay, maybe yeah, I did, maybe I didn't see it. Oh, it's gone now. Oh, well. Well, we'll, we'll uh, point it out later. Show me the trickery. You. I don't like being fooled in video games. What did you see? Well, put a power bomb here. You can go through here. All right. This is a secret half pipe puzzle. Oh, and you're amazing at half pipe, so this should go over pretty easily. So this is why this one's a little tough. Mhm. Mm it, the the idea is uh, you, you don't uh, you know, you have to like loop around, which is hard to do because mm -hmm. the edges of this are a little jagged. Yeah. So if you boost wrong or don't do it right, you oh, can you, ah! you fool! You can mess up really badly, but you could also lose your momentum on one of these weird edges. Yeah, I notice you're losing momentum it's, at it's, weird yeah. spots. Yeah. But oh, 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 that that hurt, that hurts. Oh man, that's rough, and dude. You're recording, and then you realize people, people are gonna watch this, and this is gonna laugh at me. They're for all this. gonna laugh at you. They're all gonna laugh at me because I'm bad at this one puzzle, and then they're all making fun of me, and my YouTube sponsorship's gonna go down the drain, <laughs> and now my wife's gonna leave me, and now my job has fired me, and now my car's gonna blow up, and now everything is gonna die, and. Uh, at least you still have a couple of cans of the cool, refreshing Ultra Director shortcake. I don't even have enough false, fake things to keep going by the time I get up to this. This is, this is a nightmare. <laughs> this is an absolute nightmare. Well, here, it get just, up there. just to extend it to your friendship, I mean, my YouTube channel is now canceled. My Twitter account, canceled. My amazing energy drink, They, they canceled my canceled. cancellation! Oh, hey, you're back. <laughs> no, I'm back! Yeah, where have you been? You've been gone for like <laughs> 10 minutes. Now I'm just problematic. <laughs> I got the missile tank though. That's good. Too late though. I'm already God, canceled. problematic. That is. That's so funny. Because there are some people who appear on Twitter that I completely forget about that show up just because they were problematic. Oh, thank fuck the X-ray scope. It's the X-ray visor. Finally. It's, it's a little helpful. It's not really a required thing, because, again, the game is pointing me to a different power-up somewhere else. I thought she was smearing something over her visor. <laughs> X-Ray! You, you, you just oh. uh, smeared uh, frog spawn on your face. Hmm. It's, it's good for the complexion. You're, you're wearing a helmet, miss. So how do we... 
We're, we're trapped. Oh. Whoa. So there's stuff outside of here, but it's all blocked off. Power bomb solves everything. Kabloom. And that's how you find out where hidden wall missile tanks are. Exactly. I see. That is a really cool color palette for that scope, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's just so cool. Well, technically, I think it is required, because you need this visor to help you in the final battle. Also to fight ghosts. And to fight ghosts, yes. So, maybe not as useless as you may think. Well, I just know when it was in Super Metroid, it was kind of stupid and useless. It's better here, I think. Well, it has more stuff to do. Yeah. Because in Super Metroid, it was literally just to... Okay, there's one point in oh, Super let's Metroid try it out now. Yeah. where you would need to use it. And that's to find out that the spikes aren't actually real in the sunken ship. That's about it. Oh, hey, they're there. And we can keep an eye on the whole time. Did you just get that guy mid-air? You betcha. Oh my yeah. god, you, Fuck you're out of here. this guy. Get destroyed, nerd! Damn it, she found the x-ray visor. We're doomed! Our people are doomed! Uh, sir, I hope you don't... Her skeleton was there. Sir, are we, aren't we supposed to, like, isn't she supposed to save our people? Why are we attacking her? I don't know, I'm infected with phase on. Well, me too, sir, but even I can think a little bit. He had just slightly less phase on, so he's a bit more, he's a bit more thoughtful, a bit more smart. Phase on in, uh, infected different parts of my brain than his. Mm -hmm. and I can still, I can still, you know, deliver rational thought and reasoning, but I just can't do math. Well, that's okay. You don't need math in the afterlife. The math for life. Yeah, and also my empathy has been uh, the, the, the part of my brain that uh, deals with empathy that's been corrected by Phazon. Ah, so, okay, well, that, you know, that doesn't help at suck all. Suck my dick, you piece yeah. of shit. Uh, yeah, that, that makes sense. Hey, thanks for ruining my uh, my sponsorship. Hey, I could ruin it again. You know, you know, why would you ever want to sponsor this guy? Don't sponsor this guy. Fuck this guy. He didn't need to be sponsored. You want to see me ruin a sponsorship? You want to see me do it again? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see me ruin a sponsorship? If so, get to... Uh, <laughs> 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 Click the link in the description and enter UDJ90 for a, for a d d d sponsorship losing deal. Well, you never be repeated again. For 90% off for you giving me just straight up cash. You don't actually get a product. Thanks. Um, it is actually a scam. You can give me 20 bucks, but if you call now, you can give me 20 more dollars absolutely free. I'm buying 12. <laughs> what? That looks... Strange. Oh, huh. it's a morph ball thing. Right. Huh. Oh, it's a booster thing. I thought turn, it was a turn clock. That. An that ancient clock. Okay. Oh! Hey, there oh. it is. There it is. Oh! You done oh. did it. You done did it, sir. It's been done, dude. It's been completed. It's been done, dude. It's been, yeah. Get up there. Yes. Got it. Ta-da. This is the, uh, well, it's just the Chozo. The Chozo artifact of Chozo. Hold on. In when you put it into the rest of the keys, do you hear the clucking? You're coming across sacred forbidden knowledge, my friend. Sacred forbidden chickens. Oh no. It's not that Chozo are chickens. Far from it. Chickens are Chozos. <gasps> So we've been killing them and cooking them for years. That's why God has abandoned us. Because we keep killing his messengers of chickens. Oh no. I want chicken tonight actually, so fuck that. <laughs> you know what? Earth be damned. I like my chicken. Mm, chicken. Yeah, well, I know I should have uh, came with a better reason. Uh, naughty chicken, but uh, all I came up with was that poultry excuse. <sighs> oh, look at that. He's flipping me the bird. <sighs> yes. But hey, yes. don't forget who the funny one here is. It's really? Don't forget the pecking order, okay? That's right. Yep, yep. Just. We got another one. This is why we are only sponsored by G Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Not, none of that Red Bull money. <laughs> Actually, we couldn't afford G Fuel. We, we, we gotta get M Fuel. <laughs> <laughs> we got Gatorade. That's okay. Alright, I think this is uh, where I show this off. Yeah. 
So we got the X-ray visor now, right? Right. So the X-ray visor helps to helps with certain enemies when you when uh, they make it so that they can't be seen by any normal means. Mm -hmm. uh, for seeing past uh, certain walls, so you can see stuff hiding behind them, and also to reveal certain things as well. Hmm. If you looked very closely there, you could see a little bit of rainfall hovering above one platform. And that's supposed to be your hint that there's something there X-ray-like. Oh. So you up up here, and then, uh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's how we get this new door over here. You fool. Uh, you fool. Yeah, uh, well, you know. I don't think anybody's good at first-person platforming. And if they are, <sighs> You're either a liar, or you play nothing else, or you have no life. And you're also sponsored by G Fuel. Yeah, you're sponsored. By, you're, you're, you're sponsored by Red Fuel, G. By Red Fuel and G Bull. <laughs> yeah. And missile tank. So I noticed you had, when you had the X-ray scope on, you could actually see Samus' skeleton. Well, yeah, it's an X-ray, and it just reminds me of Metal Gear Solid Three, when you and Eva are together as a party mm -hmm. and you're allowed to look at the medical history of both of you <laughs> I just really like that part because you get to take a look at everybody's skeleton did you ever sweat them around a whole bunch in the survival view yes <laughs> or actually no he doesn't even like double over he just goes <laughs> see Samus doesn't puke she keeps it all together down here might be the, might be the Chozo stuff because their stomachs work differently oh uh, maybe yeah well, that's why she rolls in a ball and doesn't get sick. Maybe that's how she pukes. Like, oh god, I'm, I'm gonna hurl. <laughs> <laughs> no, ew. Oh god, it's all over me. <laughs> a strange film follows her as she rolls away. Uh, Bird people are weird. Uh, gross. Uh... Well, I mean, if she is half bird, I mean, maybe that's how she fed the baby Metroid. <laughs> I hope you like corpse. That would be strange, though. Yeah. When she just, like, opens her mouth and tries to feed a baby Metroid. That just, like, cr eh. that clasps cr over cr her cr face. I, I swear I'm dying or something like that. It's okay, we all are. Very slowly. Some more slower than others. That's why I drink stuff like green tea. This is a sprite, <laughs> but I have green tea somewhere. Uh, hey, hey, th this can be, uh... This just reminds me of one of the funniest Who's Line jokes I've ever heard. So, Drew, is that a Coke or a Pepsi you just spilled? Uh, whoever wants to give me money. <laughs> could, could be a root beer, could be a 7-Up, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is good. Tastes great, though. <laughs> I was about to say, that could be literally anything that you're drinking right now. Like me right here. You might just think this is common H2O. But really, it's vitamin water. It's delicious. Yeah, it's where you take water and you take your daily vitamins and you crush them all up mm -hmm. and you just put them in the end of the mm -hmm. kiss. So instead of snorting my vitamins, I just drink them. It's perfect. Wait. Oh, it's vitamins you snort. I bet I'm going to snort something else. Just straight up protein powder. That's how he gets so jacked. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try the, you know... I, I'm gonna stop snorting Tabasco and try it with a tongue like someone told me to do. Snorting Tabasco? Oh, yeah. How do you get it on the food? Or do you just do straight to... Oh, you uh, plug one nostril and then... <laughs> yeah, you fire a Tabasco <laughs> rocket. <laughs> that... <laughs> that way, nobody wants your food because A, it's too spicy, and B, it's got snot all over it. Oh dear, get him a get him a napkin. No, 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 no. I'm a professional. What the fuck am I on about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it all started with getting canceled. Now you're just problematic. That's what's canceling me. Ah! That's him. That's the guy who wants to put hot sauce up his nose. <laughs> well, I mean, compared to all the other things that are, are deemed problematic, that's like the lowest on the tier list. Okay. Yeah, of course, that's the one that gets me the most. <laughs> that gets me trending. <laughs> Who's this UDJ guy? Oh, he's mainline Tabasco sauce? Nice. Hey, hey, don't ask me about my pink sauce. Belle Delphine shaking in her non-existent boots. You ever heard this stuff? Pink sauce? Yeah, it's the most recent thing I get to laugh at. Yeah, that, I, yeah, get, I, I guess that's the, that's the... 
What do you mean it needs to be refrigerated? What do you mean your pink sauce came and it was disgusting and brown and What do you gross? mean the recipe has to be consistent? What FDA? You, what's that? What do you mean we need nutrition facts? I don't care, just buy my pink shit! I just, uh, yeah, come on. From from what brave people have said, it just tastes like watered-down ranch dressing. Imagine that. Huh. So people who are able to buy it like five minutes from the source. Pink watered-down ranch. Jesus Christ. I'll just stick with my uh, chipotle-flavored Tabasco sauce. Thank you. Ooh. They make that? So, oh, yeah, they do. Ooh. It goes best with chicken. In fact, I'm making myself hungry just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some chicken. That's... I'm gonna have some of that uh, chipotle Tabasco Ooh. sauce because because it's like thicker and it's like smoky. Mm. So it goes really good with chicken and poultry. It's just gone, gone. <laughs> fuck. See, see, fuck. I thought, yeah. See, I thought it was absolute madness when they introduced the sweet chili sauce from uh, Panda Express, and that is my absolute favorite. Also, when they released bottles for home. Of the quesadilla sauce from Taco Bell. The, the quesadilla best. sauce? Mm -hmm. I mean, I got the the salsa stuff, but the, ooh, like the actual sauce they put in the quesadillas. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to get a little creative with my dinner tonight. You don't need to pay 89 cents anymore to get extra sauce on your uh, on your quesadilla. You could just go home and <laughs> all over your quesadilla. It's delicious. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting worried. Every so often I get a craving for Panda Express, and you mentioned that I'm thinking, ooh, well, I like they, Panda Express. They have the spicy chicken that I could want, but mm -hmm. it's it, it, every time I have Panda Express, I'm cooled down on it right after. Yeah, I normally get it when I haven't had it for a very yeah. long time. Okay, that was pretty cool. It's an expensive way to deal with them, but it's an effective way. Don't. All right, so we're doing this. See, that's a guy who doesn't have a sponsorship from Panda Express. That guy's repping like the Chinese buffet down the street. I haven't been there in a long time. You shouldn't go. You want to know why? Why? Because the last time I went there, I sat at a booth, and there was a still dirty uh, plate and fork behind me. It, it, it never struck me as the most uh, sanitary of places. Also, while I was just sitting there... Oh, check it. Oh, it's over there. You see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Look! You see it now? I do now. Platforms. Let's just say while I was eating, somebody just, like, got sick in the booth right next to me. Oh, I was like, God, what? I was like, okay, I don't need... Uh, nope. <laughs> Fucking ew, man! Ugh. Yeah, I was just like, cool. Well, that did turn me off on Panda Express for tonight, thanks. No, 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 no I, was, no, I no. wasn't trying to do that, no! No, no thank you, I'm dead. Th thank you, I genuinely mean that. You saved yourself. Plus, Panda Express is only good at two times a day. Lunch and dinner time. Well, it's past lunch, and we'll be too late for dinner by the time we're done here. That's yeah, okay. But God, I'm hungry. Fuck you. Fuck me. Fuck everything. Fuck sponsorships. Fuck not eating! By the way, Panda E. You ever want a sponsorship? I got your number. Please oh. call me back. All right, I gotta talk about the game because I'm just gonna think about what I want to <laughs> have for dinner instead. <laughs> Why is there a giant Chipotle sign in the middle of Magmore Caverns? Whoa! I don't know about Chipotle. I just go for the bowls. I've never gone for a burrito. Never ever. Really? Never ever. I love the burritos. The main thing is, I, uh, I just like getting the bowls because I can get chips. And since I'm not a guacamole guy, I just go for that. I'm a guacamole guy, but not theirs. Is it too chunky or not fresh enough? The last time I had their guacamole, you know, good taste and all that, I got a chunk of red onion. <sighs> and that just feels incorrect to me. <laughs> I like that descriptor. This is incorrect. Incorrect. Like like the one time I had grilled uh, this uh, grilled cheese place, you know. Grilled cheese? They yeah, were giving out free samples of this new uh, grilled Ooh. cheese joint around around uh, when I was in my university days. Mm. And uh, you know, it's nice, good Texas toast. Very nice. Yeah. Like two cheese blend of I think it was like cheddar and Colby Jack, so it was nice and nice and gooey in there. Good stuff. Like good some sun-dried tomato, so that's nice. You know, gives that kind of it. And red onion. 
What? What did I taste? Red onion. Nothing else. What did oh. I taste after that? Red, Red onion. Oh, Nothing else. Man. It's incorrect. Ah, oh, that sounded so good though. Didn't it? So there is a place um, in our main city. Frank's. You ever been? Frank's. Really amazing hot dogs. Oh. You can dress them up however you want. Tons of different options. And I'm not a chili dog fan. I got a chili dog. Tons, just tons of meaty chili on there. Tons of cheese. I said light on the red onion. Guess what permeated throughout the entire dog? Red onion. God, fucking red onion. And I even double checked. I was like, oh yeah, this is exactly what I asked for. Very light on the red onion. And it just, it just sticks out like a sore thumb. Red onion, man. It's, it like, <laughs> it's like when I tried to make uh, homemade salsa. You gotta go extremely light on that. You gotta be careful with the onion. Yeah. Like, uh, one recipe I said, you know, uh, three tomatoes and one whole onion. It's like, alright, so, uh, mm. put in three tomatoes into the blender, and then one whole, one whole onion, mash blend. I don't think that salsa is supposed to be green? <laughs> Uh-oh. So... I, I think what happens is that we used too small of tomatoes and mm -hmm. too big of an onion. Too big of an onion, yeah, yeah. But it's still like, the some people have a disgusting tomato to onion ratio in their salsa. I have had it before at certain uh, me Mexican restaurants. It just tastes like onion, and it tastes spicy and gross and nasty and bad and holy crap, magnetic rail puzzle, dude. So we're about to get the special, super awesome thing we were going to get to begin. Yeah, yeah, tell we, me about we, it. we are on its way to the ultimate weapon. Okay. The last okay. beam upgrade. Dude, is this the one where they thought, you know, oh, yeah, we can make a version of that. We can make a Fred's brand. A Fred's brand of uh, the beam that we're going to get? Yeah. I can't wait to see what those pirates look like. They're probably already missing an arm. Hmm. Ooh, okay. So be careful with those. You can use power bombs to get rid of them, but they're... Kind of inaccurate, and again, expensive. Not gonna lie, dude, these power bombs kind of suck. They're not they're, compared to all the others. They're not the best. They're powerful though, and they then they do get a lot done. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, don't worry. See, with the 2D Metroids, they're screen wipes because you only have one screen that you're dealing with. Not, not, well, not all the time. Okay, not they, all. The they've time. never been a whole screen wipe. <laughs> I have like, to see like you tapping that button. Like like maybe one screen's worth, but if it's yeah. you know, longer than that, it won't reach the whole thing. Well, that's why I think these these power bombs seem so piddly is because everything is the screen, everything is loaded in. But to make Adam Malkovich go no power bombs, I just go wait r r really? It's not that bad, is it? Like this might actually graze your pinky and be like, oh, I just got a bruise. Didn't even break skin. Maybe it's just weak to humans. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Weak to humans and pirates. And every other part of uh, the genus and the phylum. Nothing to it. Easy. Easy. Easy every time. Always easy. Mm -hmm. Never difficult. Mm -hmm. Never a problem. Never feel like shitting myself on the these kinds of things. Never. Always, always calm and collected. This calm and collected puzzle is brought to you by G Fuel. When you need More a like pick-me-up. fuel, because we're calm! It's calm fuel! There it is. There it is. There it is! <laughs> there it is, No longer folks. calm fuel. There it is. There it is! The plasma beam! Thank you, thank the you, The plasma thank you. beam! Oh. I don't recognize it now, but this is the best beam in the game! It's beautiful red. But the problem is, this game, uh expects you to juggle beams back and forth like you know here's something that that works best with ice here's something that uh, you can use only power you, you know so it, it works on like any other typical enemy but it's it it it's just so good okay uh, so, so it has it has its uses but you can't rely on it like maybe the ice beam it wouldn't help as much in magmore caverns <laughs> you know, where, where everything's already fire i got you i got you but when it comes to blowing shit up and killing things, oh, well, it's great. It works, works pretty. I see it blowing shit up. up. Yeah. 
He was one shot from that guy, and that that made him that just killed him over. It's unfortunate that you had to go for the different beams. I, I understand why they did that. It's it's game mechanic. At least it is here in Metroid Prime. With the 2D Metroids, I really like how the the beams stack, and then you can just open a door with the one beam. But again, I understand why they did it because game mechanics. Yeah, eventually that had too many beams to stack for Super Metroid because you had to toggle between one of them. They couldn't fit all the beams into one beam. That's true. Yeah, they had to... I think they turned off the spacer at one point. Yeah, it's like either wave or spacer. You can't have both. Yeah, because... But you... in Fusion and Dread, you can. Yeah. I kind of have a soft spot for those Let's Plays. They were so much fun. Oh, of course they were. Oh my god, they were fun. Well... We did a lot. Oh my we god, did, Dread did, was this year. We did good. We did great. Well, the Let's Play was this year, but the game was last year. That's true. Alright. Nice new sexy plasma beam. You love it. It's always great to see. Next but time on Metroid Prime. Uh, I'm gonna just get used to this plasma beam real, real quick, but uh, we're heading into uh, Mag... or not Magmore, we're heading into Fendrana. Yeah, Thundrana. That'd be fun. See you then.